This is a linotype machine. It was invented back in late 1800s by Otmar Morgenthaler. What this does, it's a hot metal machine. It sets the type. Instead of setting your type by hand, this prints everything with these little matrix. It's a, basically a mold that gets injected with hot lead and it makes your line of type. As you type on the keyboard, the little matrix drop down from the, the magazines up here and then form a line of them here and then you send it through the system and then it prints in lead. To print stuff back in the day, you had to set each individual letter by hand. Just for instance, this says, Welcome to the National Museum of Industrial History. So each letter would have had to be set by hand. You had to individually pick out each letter and put it down in order. And it usually took about a week to produce eight pages. Where this way here, all you have to do is just type, press the space key and the enter key, and it sends a machine down through it. And as it's cycling through, you still can keep typing on it. This machine, when it came out into production, revolutionized and that basically started the magazine industry and the newspaper industry. So you could print a whole page or a whole article in one shot in these lead slugs and then take all these lead slugs over to your press and print them on your printing press. Right now the, your lowercase letters are on your left, your uppercase letters are on your right, and your spaces and your punctuations are in the middle. As I'm typing, these letters are dropping down. Up in the top here, there's all these little levers, and when you press the button on the, the keyboard, it activates a lever here, and that goes up into the, the magazine, and there's a little rocking motion up there. The matrix are all slid in a little spot like this. There's a little matrix, so every time you press a button, the rocking motion allows this matrix to fall down, and it goes up and stops the next one coming down. There's 90, 90 rows across, and each row has about between 20 and 30 of these little matrix, which is the letters. This elevator here lifts the matrix up, an arm pushes it over to the, the, they call it the first elevator. The first elevator accepts it and pulls it down into the mold cavity. That's when it gets injected with the lead. And then once that's all done, the slug will rotate around. It gets trimmed off, trimmed off the sides and trimmed off the bottom to whatever you have it set, your font size. And then it just the, the lead slug will drop out here. And then the matrix is raised up and go back up into their spots where they drop down into the magazines. Come on down, visit us here at the National Museum of Industrial History in Bethlehem. Hope to see you soon.